Welcome to Greg Ellis TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a very, very interesting story to start off with. It is about the Samsung Galaxy going away, meaning that Samsung Galaxy would not be the name of their premium phones anymore. They would get rid of Galaxy. The latest report coming out of E! Today over in Korea is like Hyundai Genesis, will Samsung Galaxy also create a luxury brand basically what they're trying to do they don't want to create any confusion in the world because when you think about samsung samsung galaxy is like everywhere it's on their tablets no matter what tablet you get basically from the good ones to the bad ones or lesser ones if you want to call them lesser from the good phones to the lesser phones and like and even their computers too so they have too much of this and it totally makes sense for them to come out with a luxury brand name for their higher end things, you know, something for the Galaxy Z Fold, something for uh, the Galaxy S 24 fives or whatever they end up coming out with. This totally, totally makes sense. And it's really, really smart that they end up doing something like this to create something different so people are like, okay, that's their luxury brand. That's where all the, that's the best of the best that they have to offer. And then, those the galaxy brand still good but it's a little bit lesser so this makes sense to me and i would like to see them actually do this after reading about and hearing about this in their article will they do it, it remains to be seen but i kind of feel like they're probably going to do it because it makes it makes sense but what about a really really interesting phone that we didn't get last year with an upgrade but we're getting this upcoming year with an upgrade the new OnePlus Open 2. This thing is seriously looking like the best specced folding phone that you will be able to get. Check this out. This is obviously rumor stuff, but the latest rumors coming out about this are that the large folding engineering machine, the general design continues the previous generation. The screen size has been increased, so they're gonna get bigger screens on the OnePlus Open. The rear center large round lens is gonna be 50 megapixel Hasselblad master tone large bo uh, bottom main camera plus 50 megapixel and 50 megapixel 3X telephoto. So you're getting 50 megapixels all the way around. The, also the battery is gonna be 5,700 milliamps. This is amazing, guys. 5,700 milliamps is huge. It's 700 milliamp. Actually, it's more than 700 milliamps. Um, it's more than 700 milliamps than the other phones they, that are on the market for candy bars. This is great. Huge battery in there. So it's going to support wireless charging finally. It didn't last year, but it will this year. So you can expect most likely 50 watt wireless charging and 67 watt wired charging. Snapdragon 8 Extreme Elite, which is going to be one of the fastest processors up to 40% improvements all the way around with whatever you do. Customized USB-C port, not sure what that would mean. Uh, the main feature is extreme slimness, everything you need. This sounds amazing. Super slim, huge displays, huge battery, improved cameras, wireless charging, the fastest processor on the market, customized C port, whatever the heck that is, and slimness, I already said it, but that's amazing. This is going to be a beast. Um, obviously, software is everything, and their software is not bad, it's super fast. Um, it's gonna have the AI things built into it finally. It's gonna have Android 15 as well. This looks like amazing. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day, we'll see you down the road. Peace.